Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. Let's imagine we have a farm like this. We have as part of the farm, we have first name, last name, city, hobby and you, when you click on the search, results will come. Let's say like user entered only the name and clicked on the search. Then the results related to name will come and user entered the combination of name and the city he lives in. Then that uh, name and the city will it, uh, results will come okay there's an and condition between them and similarly city and hobby and condition last name and uh, hobby and condition so uh, if nothing is entered all the records will come so something like this uh, is a requirement okay so in order to build the backend queries for that using the JPA repositories becomes a bit more tedious because we don't know how many uh, permutations and combinations comes from the front end uh, here, right? And also instead of and condition, they might ask us to put our condition between these two and they might ask us to perform the sort operations uh, based on some idea, some name. Also, they might ask us to, you know, do a page nation concept here. Like, you know, if the results are way too many, instead of sending all of them at once, why don't we send 10 records? So, uh, in order to write this sort of things, we can do it with a JPA repository, but the thing is, it becomes a bit more tedious work. So, there is a special concept uh, for this sort of things is called Criteria API in Spring Boot. So this is a playlist I am planning to plan into right? Where is that? Uh, yeah. So I don't know where it went. But yeah, so Criteria API. This is a playlist I am planning to develop almost 6 to you know 10 videos. In between 6 to 10 videos, I am planning to you know uh, develop on the Criteria API from, uh, from very scratch to the end. So this criteria API will generate a typed query at the compile time and based on the input you give. Okay. And this is a very, very beautiful concept. guys. So as part of today's tutorial, what we are going to do is we are going to perform a basic uh, operation with the help of the criteria API. Before do that, let's, uh, let's, you know, understand about the project which we are developed developing here okay so i am i am you know developing a filter demo is a project name here in this i am going to connect with the database in this case i am using h2 database okay so uh, the properties related to h2 database is available here also i have made a separate video on the h2 database which you can watch it okay and uh, there is a special uh, uh, entity called employee entity which is having the information related to employee and on this we are going to perform the criteria uh, APIs okay so like employee ID which is auto generated and employee name salary and the date of joining here the date format we have already specified okay and the subject Okay, so here the subject is an enum. That means this employee, what he will teach. He might teach math, science, social, something like that. Okay. And also, I have a repo here. Okay. JPA repo. Okay. And there is a controller which we have, uh, which we have written, but we need to, you know, implement it uh, in order to perform this uh, criteria operations. So if you go to the employee repo, there is a specific uh, a thing called JPA specification executor. If you get into it, it is nothing but a interface JPA specification. Okay. So these are the uh, items which we are going to develop. So there is a specification which we need to build. Once we build the specification, we need to power, we need to call this guy find all find one. Uh, so uh, what JPA repository will do is based on that it will perform uh, it will based on the specification it will return all the results and give it back to the user okay so a basic uh, operation we are going to do today also this is the h2 database right in order to insert the data into it what i did is i am implementing a command line runner so it will call a run method on this as well there is a separate video on my playlist guys Please go and watch. 
and if you see here come down and uh, observe here there is a employee uh, object which uh, we are setting up there were four objects like uh, name salary and the skill and we are saving all of them okay cool nice then let's build a one specification here okay uh, i mean by name okay so we have some data right so uh, employee service i have taken here and uh, and i have auto wide my employee repo okay with the help of this okay all as constructor okay cool now let's uh, build our so the jpa uh, in this case the criteria api is all about building the specifications that we have seen just now right so if you go to here jpa specification executor it's all about building this specification the specification is formed if you see here this specification is formed something like this okay and we'll see all about this and inside the specification with the help of the predicate uh, functionality uh, will be used okay so i have a employee service here then let's uh, do a specification specification let's return uh, here okay uh, get specification specification and here return if you just do control and uh, space it will give you something like this which is nothing but our what to call this uh, uh, lambda expression yes we are returning something here criteria so we got a root root element we got the query and we got the uh, criteria builder specification is nothing but uh, employee specification we are planning to return so i am using that and here uh, we got the criteria builder right just take that criteria builder and here let's perform a small operation returning uh, uh, employee name who's having whose name is you know uh, some name called Ramu okay so here uh, root dot get and what is that name and the value value let's say as of now hard to code it with Ramu okay that's it uh, so this is nothing but my criteria builder which I am going to return here that's it i am not going to do anything this is how my specification will form i'll tell you what is this okay criteria builder here root dot get so basically get we have given one name but this is nothing but my column name on 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 this column name what we what we are doing is on this column name we are performing a equal operation with this value this we can get it from uh, uh, input slowly in other videos but we can perform like this okay this is how my specification will come now simply use list of employee here get employee by name here simply call this guy in order to get the specification specification then it good so specification employee specification we got now simply we have this repo on this repo we have the find all and in that find all we need to pass the specification so simply pass this specification that's it and this is going to return me what return me the list of employees that's it okay now go to our controller i have written a controller here and uh, by name and i have this service simply call this service get employee by name okay as of now we are returning a hard coded uh, value here for that employee we are returning the details but in future videos we will learn how to get it from input
slowly okay okay now i have setup is done now simply run our, our application so this is my main class i'm running our main class here and it should start running guys so the build is happening in the down so what is the main thing we just need to implement our uh, our JPS specification executor this is the one thing and the second thing is the specification object there are different different conditions we can write it that we will slowly see okay now this is the main important thing now our application will start running in the DOM you could see right so when it is running let me open my h2 console and see whether we have the data properly came or not we are simply inserting some records with the help of the command line runner right so let me do that now it should start the h2 server my application is running at 9011 see here so password click on the connect go to the employee select one now you could see these records we got it and from here we are planning to uh, return uh, Rama right Ramu, I believe okay. I don't think we have that uh, uh, object here Ramu, and we don't have that here can I change this guy? Yeah, I go here. I'll change this to Ramu. That's it. I think if I run this now, I have this data. Now simply go here, and uh, this is my end point, guys. If I simply click on send, now you could see we got the results properly right name id salary date of joining all those things we got it slowly we will see how we can get the input from the ui how we can pass multiple inputs what operation we need to do all those things we'll see slowly thank you so much for watching thank you